he drove by and he said, say, you got a, I could fix that for you for $500. This is where dents used to be on Dick Bristol's van. I was all wrapped up in doing my business, shipping orders, and I thought, well, geez, this sounds good. A man approached Bristol, told him he could get the dents out of his van right then and there, and fix the problem with his door. And shut but you got to slam it. But after starting the work. Then an hour, he said, uh, where's your bank at? I need the check. So I wrote him out a check. I thought, well, maybe he's coming to back or something. Well, he left, and that was it. Bristol tried calling the man who went by Dino Mitchell. His business card said he's with high-tech paintless dent removal. And you didn't fix it, you just made a mess out of it. He says Mitchell told him over the phone he's not coming back, and now he can't get a hold of him. I tried the number myself. It's disconnected. So I looked Dino Mitchell up on the Better Business Bureau's website. It shows an F rating for the company based out of Texas, and three people claiming they were ripped off by him too. So I called the number listed there, no longer in service. The North Dakota Attorney General's office hasn't received any complaints about the company, but according to their list, he's not registered to be selling in the state at all. For Bristol, the unfinished job will likely be a civil matter. His advice to you... Tell him to hit the road. Be careful of anyone who shows up at your door trying to fix something, especially if they're pushy. In Fargo, Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live.